Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to understand few other parameters and how does it get affected due to constant field scaling. Let's start with the first parameter here. And the first parameter here in this clip is nothing but my on resistance. Now we know that a transistor which operates in linear region has some value of resistance associated with it. To find out that value of resistance, let's write the equation of the current in the linear region. We all know that ID linear is nothing but transconductance, which is nothing but mu and COX by 2, W by L twice VGS minus VT N, which is a threshold voltage into VDS minus VDS square. Now when the transistor is operating in linear region, the value of VDS is very, very small and hence the value of VDS square is going to be further small and hence it can be easily ignored while we are finding the value of the on resistance. So this is nothing but ID linear or let's now call it as ID upon VDS is equal to mu n COX W by L VGS minus VTN. ID by VDS is also nothing but 1 by R on or the resistance of the channel when the transistor is on, which in turn would be, let's simplify and write this again, R on equal to VDS by ID, which is nothing but equal to 1 by mu n COX W by L VGS minus VTN. Now we know that in constant field scaling, the oxide capacitance increases by a factor of S. We have already found this out in a previous clip. We know that VGS reduces by a factor of S. Threshold voltage also reduces by a factor of S. Now when we simplify this, mobility remains unchanged. This also gets reduced by a factor of S. And this also gets reduced by a factor of S. If you put all that into the equation, you will find that 1 upon mu n S COX, the S which is the threshold voltage and the VGS X which is common can be taken out. The S of W and L can cancel out easily. So here what we see is that there is absolutely no change, it's exactly the same as it was before scaling. You could have easily got the same thing from VDS by ID because we know that if R on is nothing but VDS by ID, we very well know that the VDS is reduced by a factor of S in constant field scaling and we have already derived that ID itself also is reduced by a factor of S which is nothing but VDS by S into S by ID where S gets cancelled. So very important thing what we derive is the on resistance or the channel resistance before scaling is equal to the channel resistance after scaling. It's exactly the same. Okay from here on let's move on to a very important parameter as speed. We have already discussed the effect of scaling on power dissipation here which is one of the most important parameter in consideration in VLSI chips. Here we will find out the speed which is again a very important parameter. With speed we always associated a term called as delay. Delay tau is nothing but if this is my RC circuit my delay is always going to be nothing but tau equal to R into C. So the delay for a transistor is nothing but R on into the load capacitance where R on is nothing but the on resistance which we just derived in the previous minute and CL is nothing but the load capacitance. Let's presume that an inverter is driving another inverter. So if you see this inverter 1 which is driving inverter 2, the load of inverter 1, we know what is the load. The load of inverter 1 is nothing but the input of inverter 2 which is nothing but in MOS transistors nothing but CG. If I have to replace this with a transistor level diagram which we are going to learn in the future clips. This is a CMOS inverter. This is another CMOS inverter. So you see the gate capacitance. This is a gate of a transistor which is what nothing but the load capacitance in technical cases. So delay is nothing but R on into the gate capacitance. We have just derived that R on in constant field scaling remains exactly the same whereas the gate capacitance which we discovered when we started the clips on constant field scaling it was nothing but C dash G which was nothing but COX into W into L where W and L is reduced by a factor of S which is nothing but so CG was reduced. Let's substitute that here. So we understand that the delay of the circuit after scaling 
has gone down by a factor of s which is a very very important achievement 